Greetings brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It is good, always good to be here with you and it is wonderful to have you here with me. So thanking you um, a lot for liking, for sharing, you know, for even just watching the videos and for leaving your comments whether it be good or bad, it is your comment. You are free to comment um, in whatever way you please. Just keep them um, clean in terms of the community guidelines. Now, today we're going to look at a, a video or I would say proof of, uh, of what the apostle said um, in one of his sermon. And he was basically talking that, I was basically saying that um, transgendered women are now saying that they can menstruate. They, they can see their period. So first and foremost, let's look at what transgendered woman is. A transgendered woman is a woman who was assigned male at birth. Trans women have a female gender identity and may experience gender dysphoria. Now, gender dysphoria may be treated with gender affirming care. Gender affirming care may include social or medical transition. And that is basically what a transgender woman is. Now, does a transgender woman have a cervix no transgender women do not have a cervix so do not need cervical screening what is meant what is meant by transgendered woman a transgendered woman lives as a woman today but was taught to be male when she was born and this is what's in the article um a transgender man live as a man today but was taught to be female when he was born some transgender people identify as neither male nor female or as a combination of male and female and as you can see this is just confusion and this is what the, the, the devil like confusion to confuse people so let us go now to what the apostle said um, and then we'll go to what the transgender women are saying. Is homosexual the will of God or the will of the flesh? Will of the flesh. You transgenders that want to be a woman, can you have a period? That's right. That's right. what I'm saying That's and right. I don't care if you don't switch all you want all you want get the Botox as you please that's right but you have no flowers to be no purification upon you no no that's a plain question you want to be a woman woman can you have a period Lord, my Lord. Someone say he's so vaga. I don't care what you call it. That's right. We're gonna make it so plain. You got to understand. Can you get pregnant? Can you get pregnant? Can you carry a child? That's it. Can you breastfeed your child? For the man. For the man. For the man. Like he made the church. That's right. For himself. That's right. That's right. The woman represents the church and the man represents God. That's right. Man put forth naturally and man put forth spiritually. spiritually. That's right. Because he put forth the word, word. and then the church bring forth. That's it. You pulpit 
bums. bums. You scared, spineless, lukewarm, apostolic Whoa. fakers. That's right. Who don't have enough Holy Ghost yeah. in you to stand up. Stand up for that. That's right. A bunch of apostolic broke back mountain preachers. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No, that is what the apostle says. This is what he said, and it is true. Man, whether you are transgendered or not, as long as you were, as were born a man, you cannot see your period. You cannot see your menses. Oh, this is what the transgendered community is saying. Um, this interview take place on Dr. Phil. And this is what they say. Listen. Transgender boys who might not have their own money to go buy tampons. If they're provided free in the bathroom, it's, it's a huge plus. Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now, you can call yourself Cis whatever you don't want. don't menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. non-binary people. <clears throat> Only women. Menstruating is not exclusive yes, to it cis is. women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body menstruated you are, at some point. If your chromosomes are XX... And you're young, you menstruate. <coughs> if you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non binary We're not excluding men. a whole group of they're, people. They're women that dressed menstruate. as men. You are not a man. You can pretend to be a man, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Live your life. And <laughs> tell me what a man is. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the the the, the science of this as an the example science. when when we've learned sex and gender identity are two very they're completely different things they're not completely they different are things. completely different they're completely different words and sex <laughs> is what you're born with the sexual reproductive organs you have gender is what you identify with they're completely different well i don't accept things. that distinction you have to argue for it you're just giving a conclusion you're you who hate the truth People who hate the truth are because they see, they see the truth as hateful. If, if you want to identify in any way you can, you're free to do so. But that does not mean that the rest of us have to join that illusion. You disagree. I disagree with you, and so you call it hate. But there's no hate in my heart at all. So that's You wrong. are being hateful. When you tell somebody that identifies okay. as a man that they're not a man, that's not that hateful. is hateful. That's a fact. No, this is what they, they are saying. They are saying that it is possible for them to go to, to to go through menstruation. It is possible for them to see a period when in fact um science it in terms of science it does not show this as well. We're not even looking at the fact that they were born male. We're even I'm I'm looking at science. And science proved that this is not so. You know, the same science that they're leaning into to say that they can change their 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 um a, their gender that they were born with, when in fact they cannot. It doesn't matter what they do, they cannot change it. Um, it is sad. It is actually sad to know that these people are so wrapped up and so you know entangled with with these spirits that these spirits are leading them in a way that it is so contrary to 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 god we have to continue to pray for them pray for these people that uh they can break free from these bondage the bondage of sin the bondage of sinning without even caring because it is one thing to sin and you don't care. You just get up and you do whatever you want and you don't have any remorse or, or anything like that. And it is another thing to, to sin uh, and you know that it is a sin and you are so regretful and, you know, feeling ashamed and all of that. It is another thing and it is good when, when you're at that point where you sin and you know that it's a sin. And you're regretful and repentful and, you know, ashamed and wish, wish that you didn't do that. So it is good when, when someone is really at that point, we can see your sin and identify it to be a sin. So as I said before, we have to pray for these people that they can overcome the bondage, overcome 
these sinful things it's to be a part of the the alphabet community that's it from us here until next time peace be